folks, I have completely gone off the deep end. Hello, and welcome to this side of YouTube. My name is Nikki, and today I am drawing. Once again, when do I not draw? Never. Perfect, Nikki. Answering your own questions. Very smart. So, it's been a while since I've done a speed paint with voiceover of a standalone illustration that has no correlation or connection to my comic. So, this is new. This is fun. You know, it's a cute little throwback to when I wasn't obsessing over Charlotte and Tony 24-7, but <laughs> that's that and this is this. So, um, I did a thing where I drew characters. I feel like, man, I don't know what was in my water the day I drew this, but you know, it was something. It was something that made me feel very single. <laughs> I don't know what it was. The day I drew this, I realized that I can draw whatever I want and nobody can test me. Nobody can try me. Nobody can contest me. Like, I can, like, I have that power. You know, uh, there's this TikTok audio. I was born with a talent, a talent to create beautiful pieces of art with my two hands. What I do to use this talent? It may just surprise you. And when they show their art, it's something really like, you know, wacky and wild. Y you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You should know what I mean. Anyways, but this is my what I do may shock you with my art skills. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyways, I just felt like drawing two people in love and I'm like, why not? Let's get, let's get it. I, I don't know what it is with me and making my characters romantically uh, involved with each other, but like it makes me happy, you know? It makes me happy and that's all that matters. So um, at all my mutuals who are like married and like have a very successful relationship, okay, weird flex, but okay, I'm gonna live that life vicariously through my characters and that's on that. <laughs> I, <laughs> I still don't know where this piece came from. No clue, no clue. You can ask me that day when I was drawing it, you know, even while I was drawing it, I was I was just going, I was just tunnel visioning the whole time. <laughs> but I had fun. This piece was very fun to draw. So uh, those of you who follow me on Instagram, you should follow me on Instagram, guys. Come on, come on. What are you doing? You should follow me on Instagram. We have a party there. It's a blast there. I overshare sometimes. I share a lot there, spoilers and stuff, but what can you do? What can you do? I have very little self-control to stop myself from spoiling stuff. So uh, on Instagram, if you follow me there, you would see uh, this character. And you're like, wow, she looks very familiar. To that I say yes, because I drew a picture of her here. It's on screen right now, or at least it should be on screen right now. Editor Nikki, do your job. <laughs> so I drew this kind of painterly piece for this character because I'm still practicing painterly for redrawing that hands thing. Remember, remember that video I did like way back when, I don't know, maybe a few months ago. If you haven't watched it, you should watch it. It's a pretty good video. But that piece that I'm redrawing, I, I'm still scared, <laughs> not gonna lie, I'm still frightened, terrified at the thought and idea of redrawing that piece. So I've been practicing painterly, more, uh, well, more less line art. That's not a correct sentence, but you get what I mean. I, I've been trying to stick away from the line art. So I drew this character and I was like, wow, this is a pretty good piece. I did pretty good and then I posted it on Instagram and it's the same character I drew here. <laughs> So come, we come full circle here. We come full circle, you know. It's it's a metaphor for something. I don't know what it is, but basically, I drew her before, and I really liked the piece I drew her in. And I thought, hey, wouldn't it be great if I made another piece with her in it? And I was like, yes, Nikki, that is a wonderful idea. Let's do it. And so I did. Here we are. You know, I used to say that, hey, Vic is one of my most attractive characters, but I don't know. This girly, she's like, she's like popping off in my mind. She is, she is it. <laughs> she is the it girl. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't know. I just like her character design. I think it's fun. So that's why I drew her. And actually, little known fact. Actually, no one knows this fact. So it's very little known since I haven't told anyone yet. But she is from one of the writing projects I'm making. I have a lot of writing projects. <laughs> 
I hate to say it, but I, I have way too many projects. But she's from one of the new writing ideas I have, and I'm very excited to write it. I really like the premise and everything, and I like her character, her personality, and everything. So I was like, why, why don't I, why don't I go more into this? Why don't I go more in depth with this? So uh, instead of keeping that writing idea in my head, I actually wrote some stuff as you should for a writing project. <laughs> So I will now read it to you and try not to cringe as I read because reading my work out loud for you guys, especially when editing it, I feel like death. I feel like I am passing away. I wish to pass away, in fact. But that is beside the point. Let me read you the little blurb I have. He quietly stepped out of the busy meeting room while profusely apologizing to the shareholders. Once outside, he let out a deep breath and took the call. Of course, he usually wouldn't even entertain the idea of taking a call during a meeting, especially not one as important as this one. So our projects were on the line, any distraction could cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to go down the drain. With that in mind, he received the call coming from Sister. As soon as he picked up the phone, he was greeted with a sunny voice. The very voice that could make money rain and the only reason he would ever put such an important meeting on hold. He eagerly waited to hear what sort of news his sister stumbled upon. However, the news that came, well, it wasn't really what he was expecting. Dearest brother, today your wonderful and amazing sister has made a life-changing choice. I am going to pursue a man, she said. The explosive message was immediately followed by a call and a tone. Pushing away his initial anger and frustration at his sister, one emotion was left, pity. He really pitied the man his sister had chosen. After sending some prayers for the man's future, he headed back to the very important meeting that, for some reason, didn't feel like a big deal anymore. And there we go. That's that's like kind of the intro of, I don't know, I want to make it a novel. I really, really want to make it a novel, but that's kind of the intro. I have so many ideas for it, and... I can't wait to share it with y'all, but that's the little blurb I have going on. But to be honest, I haven't had enough time to work on this story yet because I have a lot of other writing stuff to work on. Like I have my comic and then I have Moon Meets Mars and then I have, hold on, let, let me see, let me see, let me see. I have Moon Meets Mars and then I have another one that I nobody has seen. And then I have The Mermaid and the Dead Man Part 2, which I still need to finish writing. I have a lot of creative projects that really are soul-sucking. You know, they really leave me feeling like a husk of a human being, like a shell of a human being. Like, I am left tuckered out after all that writing. So I haven't had that much time to work on this yet, but I, I've been thinking about it. I've been brainstorming ideas, so that's that's been pretty fun. Now, one thing I really enjoy about writing this character is that she is rich. She is filthy rich. She's got mad stacks. But the thing I really, really like about writing her is that the things that she has conflicts with and she struggles with are not like money. I have to be creative with that because it's like, well, she's already rich, successful, and very pretty. What more could she need in life? <laughs> I don't know. I just think that writing a character like this who's already like well off in life is very interesting. It's a lot of fun. I have fun here. So yeah, that is the character. I do not have a name for her yet. If you have been wondering, hey, why aren't you referring to her with a name? But the thing is, I do not have a name for her. I think it's going to start with an L. She looks like she'd have a name starting with an L, but... Nothing has been set in stone yet. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like all my other characters, I'm like pretty good at naming characters. Not like I give them good names, but like at least I give them names, you know, at least I try. But with the characters in this story, I've been just like, names? Overrated. There is no reason for them to have names. So I've been, I've been rustling and tussling with that but i'll get to it when i get to it maybe never maybe they'll be nameless forever who knows who knows so yeah this is my new story and it basically it's a romance i'm, I'm gonna say it i've been reading a lot of like chinese novels chinese romance novels and like man a lot of them are so formulaic but i cannot help myself they are so addictive 
So I'm like, hey, why don't I write a romance, a rom-com, a romance comedy with a bit of drama mixed in? Just for fun, you know, just for goose and gaffs. And so I did. <laughs> so it's a romance. It's a cute little romance that I had planned. And I was like really worried, like, hey, I don't know what big rich business people do. So uh, I'm just winging it, you know, it's my fictional world. And in my fictional world, business people who are rich and successful do whatever I say they do. And that's on that, you know, that's on being a creator and basically being the god of that world. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm enjoying it. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun. And it was actually a lot of fun to draw this piece. You see that, you see that nice smooth segue into like talking about the art itself. You know, I'm a, I'm a good YouTuber y'all. Quality content. You come here for the quality content. I know, I know, I know. So basically about this piece is that it is very experimental, very experimental. I don't know at what point in the speed paint I'm in right now, but I'm just going to tell you what I think regardless of if you've seen it or not, but the line art. The line art here is like something I never thought I'd do. Like, it's very thin, very fragile, very dainty. I, I was just like really inspired by manga. Like several, I don't know what specific manga, but you know some manga have like that really thin line art that's like really so, uh, so delicate and dainty, you know, very light. And I thought, I wanna do that. And so I did, <laughs> here we are and i really enjoyed it i feel like lining this piece was a lot of fun because usually uh i've been lining my comic stuff because i've been working on the comic you know go read my comic options and tapas in your dreamscape by Nikki. haha ha, ha, ha. very subtle self promo but for the comic uh the line art there is very uh simple you know i try to keep it simple so that it's quick you know very quick dirty simple but here i had all the time in the world to just go bonkers just go wild you know just have at it so that's what i did like the hair i have never like i suck at lining hair like it is no joke i freaking suck at lining hair of any kind so the fact that i actually challenged myself to go out of my comfort zone and like do all these like lines and sections for the hair made me really proud of myself and it actually like looked pretty good in the end so you know, I'm learning, you know, I'm improving, you know, I'm doing the art stuff. So yeah, that, that was a lot of fun. Like, I feel like I'm really bad at hair. Hair is one of the things, like, if it's not simplified, like a super simple style, I like fail at hair so bad. I have such a hard time with hair. But here, I, f I felt like I was kind of getting it. I feel like that dainty, like one pixel looking stroke just really, uh, added some more organic flavor to the mix, you know, some chaos that hair requires to look natural and not artificial but yeah i had fun we have a good time here i had fun so that was very fun and yeah i don't usually do my line art this thin or with this brush you know i use my like staple monogam brush uh that i got at the clip studio asset store it's my favorite brush in the world i love that brush i will die with that brush but today i felt like hey let's 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 try something new let's let's get it and then i did and then i actually kind of like this brush you know that kind of bumpy texture with a thin liner to the thick liner it was very fun i had a lot of fun once again i have fun here so i just tried out a lot of things today well not today but when i drew this it's been a while since i drew this so another thing about this piece is that there are no colors i did it in all black and white and once again, I was inspired by manga because I was like, let's let's try to make a cute little manga spread. And I did, and then I kind of liked it. And I thought, wow, this is cute. They're cute. This is so nice. <laughs> in fact, I also thought, hey, since I'm already doing it in black and white and gray and several shades of gray, why don't I try to add like tones? You know, like the tones that are traditionally in manga. As I said before, I was inspired by manga. When will I stop saying that? But I thought about trying tones. And you know, they looked really good until I exported the image out. And then they looked trash. I, d I think it might've been that the image was too high quality. I have no idea. I tried looking at it on my phone to set it as a wallpaper because why wouldn't I have it as a wallpaper? But it looked like kind of wonky, kind of janky. It just looked bad, not gonna lie, it looked bad. So I had to kind of forego the tones in the final render, but it happens, it's whatever, you know, I can only deal with it. 
that was that was it. it i had fun i had fun i had fun and you know those lips those lips i drew like i don't know what happened with me but like those were some good lips i feel like i had my breakthrough right then when i drew those lips because my lips have been looking so kissable recently you have no idea my lips look scrumptious ever since i drew this piece because i feel like i finally got it the way i want to draw absolutely smoochable lips <laughs> But yeah, that is, that's me side tangenting. But I did not talk about the dude here, cause, I don't know, he's adorable. He's adorable. He's like the uh, founder of like this startup that involved in the story. I can't, I don't know how much I should tell. I don't know how much I should tell because things are like prone to change and everything. But so far, so far, he is the male lead, the love interest. And he's like the uh, president, like the founder of this startup that gains like popularity and traction. And basically he gets like her attention, like inadvertently. He doesn't even know who she is to be honest, but she's like, wow, he is the perfect dude. He is smart, handsome. He, his like business practices go well with mine. Feels like we'd be great buddies and partners. And then she's like, okay, I'm gonna apply for this job at his company that I am very much overqualified for to scope out the situation. And that's what she's like in the story. She's like, oh, it'd be great if we could work as like business partners and stuff. We have similar visions and our companies go well together. But also, I want to smooch you so bad. I love you. <laughs> it would be great if we could smooch, you know. That's kind of the dynamic there. I feel like, you know, uh, talking back to those like Chinese novels I've been... Uh, reading and like a lot of romance in general that's geared towards like younger women it's like you know there's always that stereotype of like hey the stoic handsome rich older president you know like older male what's it called like the overbearing president trope i was like yes that's good but what if the power dynamics were like switched you know because like in, in reality of the universe she is like a much bigger name than he is like she has way more money than he does <laughs> like she started this huge uh conglomerate of a corporation and stuff like that but i i digress you know i i already talked about the story i can't tell you more man i am i'm spoiling everything man i'm just putting it all out there but <laughs> yeah i just i i enjoy their dynamic they're cute he's absolutely adorable love him great guy and i think that's all i have for this speed paint voiceover uh anyways go read my comic watch my other videos and i don't know subscribe i guess <laughs> subscribe like i don't know whatever helps the algorithm thank you for watching to the end i love you all see you later ciao <laughs>